Anybody else find it strange that this guy happens to eat the same things that he pops out? Yeah, that's just creepy. Hello everyone! This is Hardly Bardly. Welcome back to another episode of Starbound Fracking Universe Mod. When we last left off, we managed to find the Halotl's underwater settlement, scan the rest of the items that we needed, and take our findings back to Aster. And with that, she gave us permission to enter the Grand Pagoda Library, which is where we can find the Halotl artifact. Well, we're not going to be doing that just yet. Instead, I noticed that our ship was getting a wee bit on the crowded side, and there are quite a few other machines that we need to build in order to get certain items. I don't want to just cheat everything into this game. Just certain things that will make it faster. And in order to do that, we're going to need a few main things, either a bunch of crew members and upgrade modules, or we'll need a bunch of money and upgrade modules. So a couple of things I've done is obviously I've cheated in the upgrade modules and a bunch of diamonds for us to sell. And um, the first thing we can do is we can get a bunch of contracts and then talk to Penguin Pete here. Or we can go over to this guy right here and buy one of these fake licenses. It's not going to come back on you in this game. It's just an extra way of getting your ship upgraded without having all the contracts just yet, which is going to cost you usually a lot more money or you're going to be getting a lot weaker crew members than you actually want. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sell all of these diamonds and I'm going to buy the fake Kestrel license. And there we go, we have the option, questionable Kestrel ship upgrade. This ship license is unquestionably authentic. Visit Penguin Pete with four upgrade modules to upgrade your ship. So, we're just basically going to do that. We're going to upgrade our ship a few times. I'll pop back to the ship and show you how it looks each time that we upgrade it until we get full upgrade. So, let's head on back to the ship. And... I think I really need to move this trough because our little Archeus bud keeps um, getting hit by it. Oh, I probably need to take the stuff out of it first. Okay, so as you can see, we've obviously expanded somewhat. Um, little Archeus bud guy, you need to come over this way. Just the, just the wee hair. Um, I wish I had a relocator on me right now, but I don't. So instead I'm going to put his trough over here in this corner and put his food in it. So he doesn't keep getting knocked all over the ship every time we touch the ground. Okay, come on. Come on, little dude. Come on, little dude. You need to wake up now. You need to wake up now. Otherwise you're going to fall down. You're going to fall down. Goodness, he's not wanting to listen to us. So we're going to have to do something a little different than what I was planning. I am going to have to put some stuff up here so I can jump up to it. So... And also not have him fall onto it. So... Since I don't have the double jump ability yet, I'm just going to put that right there. Apparently I can't because he's still standing on it. So, oh well. So, I'm going to do that. And I have nice little steps to go up. So the rest of that is just going to be kind of stuck here in the meantime. Oh yay, he finally moved. So I can hop back up here and... What are you doing? Why are you trying to laser my floor? No. No, you're not going to land on that. No, you need to step back. You need to step back, my little buddy. There you go. Ah, I ran out of them. Uh, okay. Metal platform. In the middle of the wooden platform. Whatever. It works. So. We can redecorate later. 
But anyway, he's no longer falling through there. Oh, I forgot to turn off admin privileges. No, I don't want to quit. <laughs> okay, I just used the admin thing to cheat some stuff into the game. So anyway, we're going to look around through here. So that there and that there. So that is <laughs> our little snake is asleep on the step. That is cute. So this is what we've got going so far. So, you know, not too bad. Off we go, back to the two-stop tail shop. And then we go back and talk to this guy. And now we can get a fake falcon, -like, fa falcon license. And we'll need six upgrade modules to upgrade the ship again. The penguins never get old. And back up we go. And here the ship has gotten even bigger. So obviously nothing's been done down here. But we do have a little bit more room here and there. For instance, our cabin itself has increased in space. And yes, there's going to be these hazard blocks everywhere that you'll have to remove. And like dirt, you can put them back down anywhere you want. So. I'm actually just going to take out a little bit there and then put some more platforms up. So I can hop up there. Just for right now. And the platforms will keep certain creatures from falling down to their doom. Well, not really to their doom. It's really hard to kill animals in this, or at least livestock anyway. But other creatures, small animals and such, you can kill off very easily. Just forewarning. And apparently my snake is following me. Because he is a good snake. And he wants, he wants to see what Dashi is doing. And there we go. That's apparently all I have there. So I'm going to clear that out. And clear out some of these. So I will have them to jump around on later. Which is kind of weird. Because apparently all I can do is hop there and hop there. So there we are. This is what the... Argonian ship looks like at Falcon level. So back down we go. And the best thing about an upgraded ship is it is a ship that you can decorate a lot more. So you can put some livestock or some plants in one area, your pets in another one, just different things. You can also put crew members that you don't want getting underfoot on one level of the ship and they won't usually come to bother you as much. Now our next option is the fake eagle license. So we're going to buy it too. And it's going to be an illicit eagle ship upgrade. This ship license is entirely and completely legal for sure. And then we'll need eight upgrade modules. So back over here we go to talk to Penguin Pete. And back to the ship we go. And now as you can see, the ship has extended a bit more. So over here, we now have a room connecting the two, the new large chamber and the small one from earlier. We also have like a little pyramids thing going here. It's kind of like the, um, the bird race in this game. I'm, the name is escaping me. The avians, yeah. And then we have like this nice little room back here near the engines. Or, well not the engines, but the um, propellers. You know what I mean. Alright, 
So there's that. And off we go to beam back down. And I'm wanting to think there's just one more upgrade after this. I did not mean to beam back down to the island. That was not my intention. I meant to beam back to the two-stop teleshop. And let's see, I'll need a fake condor license, so... I need to sell off some more stuff. What have I got else to sell? These... Manipulator modules, but what I need... Is some more... Diamonds and such, so... I'm gonna have to do admin again. Admin, not admon. Would help if I spelled stuff right. So, spawn item, diamond, not diamond. And I'll do that one more time. I think you can only go up to a thousand of each item each time you try it, so. There's that, and then spawn item. Some of these, mind you, are not the same name as the item that you have. Like, um, the Urchius crystals that the little Urchius bud eats. He's going to, uh, actually need something called spawn ma- uh, I mean, uh, super matter instead of Urchius crystal. So, we're just gonna throw 50 of these up here. We're not gonna need that many, but who cares? Alright, and that should be enough. We can turn the admin privileges back off. And now we can buy the fake Condor license. And put it and make our ship into a dreadnought. This license is fine, probably. <laughs> Bring 10 upgrade modules to Penguin Beat. So I love the flavor text in that more than just, hey, you've got enough crew members, time to expand your ship. And let's see, was there any other licenses? Nope, that was the last license. But what we can get is this cyborg contract. Because that is going to come in very handy for us. And we're going to go on back up here. And take a look at our fully upgraded ship. So, up we go. We have this nice little new greenhouse type area up here. That we didn't have before. Look at that, how cool that is. And now this has been divided into four sort of rooms. And we have a new room here. And even more room over here. So we have that going for us now. And let's see, is there anything else over this way? Nope. Has the cockpit been extended any? Yes, yes it has. So we have extra lights, until I take them down, apparently. And I'm actually going to put one up here over top of the chair so we can see for later. Yes. Or at least I think I am. Maybe I'm not. Yeah, that's apparently about all I can do. Just put some of those there. Anyway, uh, we can now use all of this new empty space to put everything that we need everywhere else. So I'm going to take up all of these and I can redecorate later. So yeah, that's all that uh, we're going to do for today. So if you um, do want to, uh, in Fracking Universe mod, you have an option at the beginning of the game to do either the default ship for the character race or a customizable one. And there's a completely different way of going about doing the customizable stuff. So I will do that in another video, another playthrough on a different character. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and since we've already seen what this upgraded Argonian ship looks like, I'm going to cut this video here. And 
It gave me Arceus fuel. That's cool. Anyway, I'm going to cut this video here. In the next video, I will be showing you new crew members that we can get. And then after that, we can go to the Grand Pagoda Library. All right, thank you all for tuning in. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. And also, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you can catch more videos like this as soon as they come out. This is Harley Barley, signing out.